Order number 116, fifth report, Standing Committee on Ethics. Senator Bayak. <coughs> Thank you, Speaker. Honorable Senators, I rise to address the fifth report of the Standing Committee on Code of Ethics and Conflict of Interest for Senators. I stand accused today by the Senate Ethics Officer of refusing to censor the free expression of Canadian citizens with whom he disagreed. The committee has agreed with the officer and issued a report that now urges this body of free debate to become a tool of censorship. I request that you reject the committee's recommendations. I have posted the letters of hundreds of Canadians on my website and has become a positive public forum. I will not act in a manner that interferes with the freedom of expression of the people I represent each day. I note at this point that the penalty of the committee report is right out of Orwell's 1984. According to the Supreme Court of Canada in the 1984 case of National Bank and Retail Clerks Union, this type of penalty is totalitarian and is such alien to the tradition of free nations like Canada. The conclusions of the Senate Ethics Officer and the report of the committee are directed exclusively at my refusal to censor letters from Canadians on my office website. This is not a legitimate matter for the attention of the committee. I should. It is my submission that the Senate should only focus upon the speech of a senator on the floor of this chamber or upon the action of a senator outside this chamber where the action is contrary to law. If the Senate does not respect this legal bright line, then every act of a senator will become fair game for political opponents, including interactions in the office, in the home, in the bedroom, and at church. This simply cannot be. My next point was that the Senate Ethics Officer had no jurisdiction to conduct his inquiry. The Senate Ethics Officer did not have jurisdiction to review the letters in issue, as the letters were of Canadians exercising rights protected by the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. I did not write the letters or adopt the words or the reasoning of the letters. Senators should jealously guard their right to free speech. The Speaker of the Senate always has. On page 17 of the Senate Ethics Officer Report, it is noted that the Speaker has not yet determined whether a Senator's website is protected by privilege or not. The Senate Ethics Officer should not have proceeded to make a determination on this question in the place of the Speaker. Telling the truth is sometimes controversial, but never racist. The Senate's reputation has been enriched by my stand, as clearly stated in thousands of letters from Canadians that I submitted to the Senate Ethics Officer. Many of the letters spoke of the pride and respect for the Senate and for me because of the dignity, honour and integrity I bring to the Senate through my honesty and consistency. These letters were not referred to in the report either and one must ask why. The only time the website reflects negatively on the Senate of Canada is when, or is hurtful to grassroots Indigenous people is when the media accurate, inaccurately portray comments, including Senators and members of Parliament who are asking to take down hatred when none exists. It is dishonest and irresponsible, as is quoting only portions of letters from thoughtful and compassionate Canadians and leaving out the true context of their ideas. Finally, Honourable Senators, I ask you to reject the committee report so that I may continue my valuable work on behalf of grassroots Indigenous Canadians in my region who have no voice. In turn, I will always respect and value yours. I do not understand this rush to judgment, and I would humbly ask one of you to take the adjournment for the weekend to give Senators a chance to consider my remarks. Thank you. Senator Harder. I would call the question on the motion before us. Are Senators ready for the question? Question. It was moved by the Honourable Senator Anditrup, seconded by the Honourable Senator Seidman, that this report be adopted. It is your pleasure, Honourable Senators, to adopt the report? Agreed. Adopted on division.